All right, hello everybody. Skyrim here, back again. Another Diablo Immortal video. Now we have, I have seen some things as of late. With we have the finest goods, the world gem prices, over. because everybody seems to think that there's going to be new legendary gems on the way. I'm not entirely sure when that's going to be. It probably will be soon, somewhat, because approaching the holiday season. Blizzard and NetEase are going to want some more money. As they always do, they can never have enough. It's a beast that will never be fed. Uh, pure greed, plain and simple. But anyway, let's take a look at some of these on my particular uh, server. Uh, just f to show what we're talking about here. Um, let me see, what's the prices? Okay. Now, the Everlasting Torment 1 stars are actually considerably low. Now, granted, 1,000 even for a 1 star, a rank 1 is debatable. But, let me see. Let's get to something else. That was that caught me by surprise, because I looked at some of these other ones, and I didn't even check that one before. But, let's go to... I don't know, something simple like Lightning Core. 4,000. 4,000 for a Lightning Core 2 star. If you guys are trying to, you know, go to the market to get gems for gem power, um, this is what some people do. They use their platinum for that. I'd rather not. I'd rather just craft these kind of things with the runes that you get from running Elder Rifts with the rare crest. Now, but the prices are pretty significant here. And that's what I'm going over. Um, so that we can kind of compare... You can look at your server uh, market board and compare these baseline prices on these gems. So I'm just gonna go over. There's the Viper Bite. Let's go with Mother Lament. Look at that base. The lowest price for this one, 7,400. What else we got in here? That one. Um, let me see. Yeah, those were two stars. I'm not going to go over... Well, let's see, Bloody Reach. Okay, 4,000. Uh, power and Command, 4,900. Yeah. Some of these are actually pretty significant. Let's get into the uh, the big boys here. Chip of Stone Flesh. Surprisingly, only 40k. Uh, Phoenix Ashes. Phoenix Ashes is 41. That's interesting. I don't know a lot of people still use that one. Howler's Call, 51,000 for a Howler's Call base. Uh, Seeping Bile, of course. Right now, currently on the market, we only have these available. Blessing of the Worthy, uh, 46. Not too, too overly terrible, but a little... Let's see, here we go. Blood Soaked Jade. A three star, which I'd love to have. In my case, even that's what I was wanting all along. I'm upset that I messed up and upgraded mine to a rank four when I should have waited. But uh, that's the only one I've had all this time is my meager two star. Uh, three stars going for ninety two thousand platinum. Yeah, buddy. Followed hope. Eighty thousand for a three star. I can get that right now, but then there goes all my platinum. So, yeah, no. Uh, this is definitely one that I would uh, prefer to get at some point or another. Beneficial effects and what it does with it. Skill to grant a buff. Increase the damage and movement speed. Can occur more once every 20 seconds. Oh, so, yeah. Per target, so... Increase the cooldown on all your skills as well. And this is very beneficial for a wizard. It's definitely one that I would like to have, but anyway. Oh, uh, let's look at the Void Spark. For a two star, 56,000. Okay. Gloom Cask. The lowest one in here right now is a three star at 109,000. So basically, this, what I'm, what I'm getting at here is Starfire. A uh, three star, 87,000. That's not too overly terrible, but Basically what I'm getting at though is people thought are trying to you know, do the the market play already uh, before we even get next 
gem, whatever it may be, announced and added into the game. There's already speculation, and this is the same thing it goes for like even the real world markets. It's just speculation um, based on just, you know, mishmash of statistics. And a lot of times they could be wrong. A lot of times, you know, some of them might have it right, but it's just, it's a huge risk. Um, but yeah, it's funny because this brings me back to a video I saw recently where someone decided, oh, I need, you know, just that much more resonance for like, I think it was like one point of combat rating. And they spent like 30, 32,000 platinum or something insane just for one point of combat rating because they weren't happy with the how their combat rift or their, their challenge rifts were going and I'm like the, ch the challenge rifts are literally just time gators it's just time gating it's literal time gating it's all based on you know how high your combat rating is so obviously the whales are going to have more than anybody else now me I possibly could push a little further than this but why I see no reason to. The rewards are lackluster. Um, let me just show. Oh, what? That's the regular shot. Okay, Inferno, yeah. Let me just show. Okay, so there's 446. The highest on our server. Five minutes, even, though. So there's that. Um, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, they changed. That's weird. Oh, they changed classes. They changed classes, so I can't check them on here anymore. That's weird. That's funny too. But yeah, I mean, look at the look at the life, look at the damage. Let's get to their their resonance nine thousand ninety one twenty eight. Um, yeah. So most of this obviously is still the same. Their potency is way low. And they were on wizard with that kind of potency. Interesting. Oh, that's what they chose. But anyway, yeah, there they go with that. Let's see if we get an actual wizard here. Hey, look at that. What do you know? Okay, so 482,000 HP, 35,000 damage. Um, here's their substats, their potency. Everything here is pretty substantially high. You're looking at almost 5k in every secondary, well, almost. And 94, 96 resonance. They got a 9 minute 10 or a 446 level uh, challenge rift. Burnout challenge rift. The last one I decided to push, I'm at 2 minutes. So obviously I could do above 4. I did 430. I can obviously go above that um, and probably, you know, take longer. But why? Like I said, the rewards. First time clears, maybe they're not even all that. The rewards are crap. It's not worth pounding your fist into the concrete. It, you know, it's not worth that kind of headache. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting at. It's not worth that kind of headache. Um, but anyway, I, I I saw that earlier, and I'm like, why? Why would you? Why would you bother for that? I mean, yeah, okay, it's a cold content thing, I suppose, but at the same time. Thanks, I guess, for giving me content to say something about, because I personally would not do that, especially as a free-to-play. Don't have those kind of resources to just go willy-nilly with, and would not even remotely imagine doing something to that extent, just because, oh, I want to go a little bit, I didn't want to go, I want to clear another level in Challenge Rift. It's all time-gated. Plain and simple. It's all time-gated to your combat rating that you acquire over time as you level your paragon up higher your gear your legendary gear anyway combat rating goes continues to gradually creep up and that's just how it is and that's how it's always been so there's not necessarily a, 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 a like a, a boasting point over this kind of thing it's just you know, whales have more resonance so therefore they have more combat rating and that's what you got at the top of the boards here obviously from what I've just shown and then of course you know me all the way down here because I chose not to go any further I didn't press 
the issue. My combat rating currently is 26 to 26,000 to 55 with my current gear. So I'm happy with that. I can clear the last uh, combat rating of the Inferno 3 raid boss that is needed, which we have Inferno 4 on the way, or Inferno 4, 5, and 6. From the last I heard, Inferno 4 will be Paragon 1100. And I'm at 1055. So, yeah, it's on the way. I'm well on my way to um, making that easily um, and gradually. So, I'm not stressed about it. I'm not whatever and yeah it doesn't take all that much you just play the game and it's just like I said it's just a time gate thing the whole point of me showing the market board at the beginning as well was to kind of show you guys the prices so you can compare the gem prices on your server as well um, just to kind of give like a baseline of what everybody's expectations are because you know, I've heard some um, I saw in some of the comments that the prices are wildly outrageous in some, and then other ones, they're pretty mild. So, and then of course you you have people that will server hop, and which unfortunately is what happened with the uh, duped gem fiasco. A lot of that I heard was on um, Western server, like the um, NA West. A lot of that went down, I, I suppose, is where a lot of that took place and a lot of, where a lot of people went. Uh, I am on a uh, NA East server myself, so I didn't go anywhere. I didn't buy any gems. I didn't touch the, the market board at all, especially once I caught wind of that. I was like, well, uh, if I was before, who knows? These could be duped gems, and they could be deleted at some point later on if they get, ever get around to doing that. You never know. So I'm like, nope, I'm not touching any of that stuff. Any of the gems that I got up to this point, my normal gems, I've gotten every single one from running the Hidden Lairs and the Daily Dungeon. Uh, that's how I've gotten what I've gotten up to this point for my gems. So, see, I got only sevens. And I got a seven there. Let's see, that's a six. Uh, there's a seven, there's a seven, there's a six. Uh, seven, 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 and sixes. So, yep, that's where I'm at. I worked hard for my gems. I earned them by doing hidden layers and dungeons. And I've already capped out my weekly uh, hidden layers as of this video. So, unfortunately, that sucks. It's nice when you get it done, but at the same time, it sucks because you're like, oh, yeah, I won't be getting any more that way. So then it's just the daily dungeons the rest of the week. But anyway, rambled on long enough on this one. Um, I just want to kind of give like an update to some decisions that uh, some people have made. Um, some forecasting on like possible gem prices and what they are where I'm at compared to where you're at. Uh, let me know, of course, in the comments. Is it high? Is it low? Um, you know, go back to the early part of the video where I was going over them there. Um, and let me know what your thoughts are on the whole, uh, challenge rift stuff. That's basically just, you know, a time gate thing for your combat rating. And of course favors the whales because they have more combat rating, etc., etc. Yada, yada, yada. We know the score. Those of us, uh, like I said, from myself at a, as a completely free to play perspective here is what I'm putting these kind of videos out for to show not necessarily not necessarily a showcase but kind of give you know this complete perspective that most people do not have um this game so yeah that's why i feel compelled to do these kind of things and it does put a whole nother uh outlook on it Anyway, I'll be back with another video, um, kind of going over my thoughts about what's coming up for the uh, upcoming patch. Anyway, take care, everybody. Until next time, see you.